internet. Welcome to Stuff the Artist. My name is Roxanne. I am your friendly librarian. Sometimes, maybe, I don't know. This is an improvisational art show predicated on the fact that there are some very evil overlords holding the library's money hostage. It's very rude. Hi, OB20XDX. Uh, over, it is the first day of summer. I hope that uh, you're staying cool, you're staying hydrated. I am being joined by someone who's not a librarian but is also an artist. Paul, hello, Paul. Are you staying cool? I'm staying real cool. He's always in cool. all the ways. That's right. Nice. Mm mm. So, uh, in honor of it being the first day of summer and again i hope you're staying hydrated it is very hot out not as bad not as bad as last week but it's still pretty hot uh we are going to do another paul's always cool it's true Ooh, thanks <laughs> we're it's another shannon Ooh, mcgillis dude. special yeah love is in the air oh yeah it is it's, it's on our pages oh yes <laughs> um so with it being a Shannon McGillis special, you know, it's it's time for those beach reads. People are already demanding them at the library. We gotta, we're gonna have to make them happen. Uh, so Shannon, Shannon McGillis, for those of you who have no idea what we're talking about, is the lady who's on the left. She is a extremely prolific romance novelist who has been writing for decades. Not even sure how many, especially since the photo, the picture of herself that is on her books is probably at least 20 years old. Oh, for sure. For sure. The, the last Shannon McGillis book cover that we were commissioned to make for free, because we're suckers like that. <sighs> yeah. It was Hearts Under the Rowboat, which I don't remember anything about <laughs> nope nope yeah. besides what's on the the cover there yeah. that's pretty much it so i i'm guessing that there was a romance um and there was a rowboat <laughs> yeah i think there was some smooching under there i'm i'm pretty pretty sure there was man it's it's been a long it's been a long time. Just, we'll just it's go with that. It's been a long time. Yes, so... Um, and we don't have a loyal fan base in the comments to tell us who, what it was about. <laughs> we uh, need a wiki. We, we, You know what? We'll get there eventually, maybe, you know, sometime. All right. Someday. Someday. So we're, we're going to be... Because we, I don't remember anything about it, we're not going to be doing another one in that particular series. So we're going to have another... You know, summery beach read themed by Shannon McGillis. Are you are you ready, Paul? I'm so ready. You're so ready. I'm the readiest. You're the readiest. Okay, cool. So I'm going to uh, open up this here thing of what's it. By thing of what's it, I do mean uh, randomizer. Okay, this is- we're already off to a great start. Uh-oh. In that the first one, first thing, is going to show up, I swear, there we go. And it is Parent. A lot oh. of very popular uh, beach reads and romances do feature parents. Um, parent play. Parent, yes. You know, you gotta have the the cowboy and the lost child or something. Okay, parent. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. This is getting even spicier for a beach read. Appropriately enough, a parent and a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, okay. Let me. Oh, this is great already. All right. I'm just gonna add. I'm gonna gonna give us a, um, a trope because the tropes are always so so spicy. 
I love them. I am Hello. skipping this one because it's the one we had last week, uh, which was Mecca. I yeah. don't think Shannon McGillis knows what that is. No, she has no idea. There's no way. Look at that picture. Oh, oh no. We have a very sad one. It was all a dream. Oh. Or, you know, maybe it's not sad. Maybe, maybe you know, there was something um, going on that made it not all a dream. Who knows? Um, Pirate dream. Yeah, maybe maybe the the dream was the normal life. We don't know. I don't know. We just we got the Shannon McGillis parent pirate, and it was all a dream. Okay. Uh, and I believe chat said <laughs> Mecha Pirate. Look, we'll, we'll maybe save that one for next week. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we'll save Mecha Pirate for next week, if I remember. Um, uh, Chad says that um, Paul's always cool except when he's hot, so he averages lukewarm. So it started off as yeah. really high compliments, and then it just really undercut it. And you know what? That's totally... that tracks. That tracks. <laughs> he's what like, can yeah. I say? <laughs> we're, we're very tepid people over there. Mm -hmm. And um, Chad adds, Ugh, it's so hard to keep track of all of these releases. That's what I get for being a completionist. Yeah, I mean, I don't... Shannon McGillis's output is legendary, so I don't blame you for not being able to keep track of all these rele releases. Yeah, just just imagine if you had to read them all. Oh boy, yes, we just have to draw them all. Okay, so we're already off to a great start because we have Parent and Pyre, which already pretty solidly puts us on a beach. So I'm just gonna mm -hmm. gonna maybe get, or at least in a in a beach like setting as possible. So let's just get a very poor looking pirate ship going on here. So, if I know my Shannon McGillis, uh, you know, structure, formula well, mm -hmm. I'm guessing that maybe the pirate took the, the young parent captive on the ship or something. And so, and... So there's, you know, a very... Oh, you know what? I'm getting way ahead of us. You know what? We need to come up with some characters first before I just go st jumping straight into the cover like a maniac. Listen, it's it's totally normal to be eager for a new oh, McGillis release. I know. They're just, you know, even though they come out so frequently, it's they're just they're just so so good. Um, Gold every time. All right, so now is the pirate <clears throat> is the pirate the the parent? This is also a possibility. It could be that the pirate is the parent, and um, we have to teach their progeny all that, about you know the love. way the ways of piracy, their love of the sea, the love of the love of the sea. I, don't know, I guess that could be a childlike person down there being cut off. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll just, we'll just sketch that, sketch that up a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I cut off the bits. Oh, the bits. Not the bits. Pirate, parent, all a dream. So either, either way, we have, you know, a a noble. A scoundrel with a heart of gold, which is always a good trope. And an adorable, adorable child. Possibly theirs. The hard part is going to be figuring out how to make it all a dream. I guess it could it be the it could be the child's dream. The, the child's dream that they that they are the child of a pirate. Yeah. Like I know this is a book, but like you know, let's 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 put it in uh, like a screen format here. Sure, we can do that. But also, Chub gets in a big fight with his parents. Yeah. His or her parents, and uh, they go to sleep the night all mad. And then they wake up on a pirate ship. Yeah, okay. And the pirate is played 
by none other than the same actor and actress as their parents. One of their one of their parents. Mm-hmm. So maybe, uh, maybe uh, their parents are going through like a, a divorce or something. And so this was about re, you know, the child trying to get the parents to reconnect. And doing so in this beautiful kind of pirate fantasy setting. And then maybe, like, Goonies style, they do actually end up going on a pirate adventure. I guess not so much Goonies style as it would be, like, Romancing the Stone. Yeah. Or, you know, they get isekai into a piratey realm and now they have to play these roles. I will explain what isekai is. Yes, please. <laughs> I believe it's spelled like this. Um, and it is a subgenre, usually of manga. That uh, I'm gonna turn this music up a smidge. I can no longer hear it. Um, it is the subgenre of manga where it is like an ordinary person in our realm, from like our universe, that got transported into a a completely different dimension or fantasy realm. Okay. Like, uh, we're talking... This isn't anime at all. Uh, King and... King and... Nope. Kid and King Arthur's Court. Yeah, that's actually a great example of Isekai, just, you know, not in that particular... Uh, <laughs> that particular media format. It's actually a pretty classic... Um, trope because it's it's just um, a more specific name for the fish out of water uh, concept. I don't know why I'm giving this pirate harem pants, but that's just what's, what's just what's happening right now. That's how it be. It's it's uh, it's a fiction mm-hmm. of a fiction. Then, as always, Big Feather. You always want a Big Feather. So, so maybe it was that they played, you know, they pretended to be, uh, you know, pirates when they, you know, were having better times. And, oh, you know what? The kid makes a wish. A wish. A wish a that their yep. dreams would come true. So we're going to have it We're gonna have it both ways. We're going to say it was all a dream, but that was because it was a dream that came true. Or, you know, it wasn't, and she leaves it de- deliberately ambiguous. But, you know, I think I think we're going to make it some just just. We'll just make it some just because. Just because, folks. And uh, now they have to actually fight this horrible pirate menace. And while they are the good pirates. This is a very odd looking sword. Paul, do you want some boring trivia? Hit me with some boring trivia. Sure. So there are, um, from what I remember, three different kinds of swords in the sport of fencing. So there's the one which looks like this, and that is a foil. And it comes, it's got the little, kind of, tiny little guard thing on it. Actually, it would probably go in the other direction. Um, and it comes from, um, fights to the death so the, the scoring patterns only happen um, when they the, the the end of the foil hits the chest because that's where the mortal bits are All right the next one is called the epe which instead of it only being sharp at one end like the foil was it's actually sharp on both sides and that was from the rule of first blood 
So, too many duels were killing people. So they instituted first blood instead. So you just had to you just had to hit them anywhere on the body and make it bleed. Hmm. Okay. Epe, Epe, uh, which I don't remember which one has the axe on it. Um, I believe that that's it's probably just French for sword or something. I'm not entirely certain. All right. Now the one that I'm bringing up is called saber. Saber is often what we think of as a cutlass, which is what pirates use. And that had a, a similar rule set. It's kind of like halfway between a foil and an epee, and that it is bladed, but just on this one side. And the way you, you get points in contemporary fencing is by hitting either the arms or the, the chest. And... So this is the kind of sword you're only attacking with this one side. And it's very similar to um, the cutlasses that pirates would have. Um, and the the neat thing about if you ever like watch professional um, fencers and you watch the um, if you watch the saber people go, it is crazy fast. Cause it's just you're just going straight down. Pshing! And you're just basically true to hit sword fighting. Oh yeah, it's pretty, pretty remarkable. And so it kind of makes sense that you know if the goal is just to like maim somebody enough to uh, kind of get out of there, then it makes sense that um, that the saber would be preferred by pirates as opposed to the foil, which is a, a gentleman's weapon. And then yeah. there are, certainly aren't going to be doing duels to the death. No. Which would be the the F.A. weapon. So there you go. Always got to teach something in one of these to vaguely justify my existence here. <laughs> got to educate, folks. I got to, gotta, you know... Got to learn. Got to learn. I will not keep those there for the actual drawing but uh you know keep them there just just because you know that was that was trivia and i like sharing yeah. that it's something that i learned when i tried fencing for a year could not quite get into it was it fun though so it was fun but um i will we'll do um i didn't i will say as someone who comes from um martial arts that are you know hands and fists mm -hmm. it was very disorienting for me to conceive as the weapon not being my hand but being like a foot and a half away from my hand it's right. it's thinking at an entirely different range and i and that was one of the things that i could not quite get over the the other thing that i couldn't quite get over because i uh, had come from a martial arts studio where they would um, jokingly um, say things like, and this is how you break their arm, and then if you flip them over this way, this is how you would break their ribs and their kidneys, <laughs> and, you know, stomp on their kidneys, so they, so it was sportsman, it, fencing has a sportsman mindset as opposed to a injury <laughs> mindset, an injurious right. one. Yeah, it's a little different. Yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah. I might actually, like, really like this pirate person that I'm drawing right now. <laughs> this might actually be really cool. <laughs> Heck yeah. I mean, I'm liking the sketch so far. Because yeah, I know nothing. I, d you know, I'm giving them long hair. But I also have like no idea what gender they are or anything. Not that it matters. They could be gender fluid or gender ambiguous. But you know, this is one of the parents. That. You know, wishes that the dream would come that, you know, in this in this dream they are 
this this fantastic and noble pirate captain. Yes. And then there is the ma- machete, or machete, if you like, as uh, as the as the chat has noted. Um, yeah, they don't really uh, do machete in fencing because you know it comes. It's a utilitarian weapon. And that is slash. Yeah, you know it's it's less meant for um, you know. Uh, injuring people than it is for injuring plants. Yeah. Yes, and they add for cutting down greenery in the jungle and the heads of your enemies. I mean, I, there are more efficient weapons for the heads of enemies, but, you know, sometimes you gotta make do. Sometimes any, just any sharp object mm-hmm. in the vicinity See, that looks like a nice pirate. Yep, I mean, this is... <laughs> it is... That's that's the thing, is that, you know, this is, this, is a, this is a dream, it is a fantasy, so they are going to be a friendly pirate. Yes. You know, like, it's, it's a, you know, maybe, maybe the kid's favorite, uh favorite book is Peter Pan. He just wanted to be one of the Lost Boys. Let's make sure that it's got, you know, some cool scarf action going on here. Pantaloons. Yes, some big old honking pantaloons. And the more, you know, refined sketch, we'll see the see them pirate boots. So this is this is this is one that's de- that's like kind of begging for like a movie adaptation. Oh, for sure. You know, can they can they rediscover you know love and friendship? You know, can the can the wish of this child bring back this, come this, true. this this thing which was lost? You know, the treasure was love the entire time. The whole time. Who could have who could have foreseen it? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, the feels. Oh, the feels. <laughs> All right, so I got one parent over here. I guess I should, I should, I should have the other one. I guess I'll put that sketch later back up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever. It doesn't. It's just fine. For it's, now. For it's, now. It's whatever. Um. All right. It's a question: Are they both pirates? in this dream or is one of them not pirate it's this sounds vaguely like hook hook was definitely coming into my head um and thank you chat is the pirate in search of the other parent in this dream hmm. i was thinking more like they are thrust together by circumstance and therefore must find a treasure. Cause I mean, if this if this kid okay. loves, um, you know, loves pirates and hook, um, one's a robot. No, <laughs> no, Chad. <laughs> no. no, Mecca. Shan- Shannon McGillis does not understand technology. Her Twitter she still is, uses a typewriter. Her Twitter is entirely run by a media team. She doesn't even know what Twitter is. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Thank you, Brain. Thank you for noting that I forgot to. I forgot to illustrate the big fluffy feather. Another. Uh, you ready for another boring bit of trivia? 
Hit me with that trivia. <laughs> um, the 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 panache means like big feather. Really? Yeah, it's it's like something that's loosely translated from French. If it's I'm it's a great word. If I'm remembering correctly, so if you're saying you're doing something with panache, you're thinking of um, you're doing it with a big feather. Doing with like just with extra oomph that comes from wearing a extravagant feather. I think we should all do things with more panache. I, you know, I'm in, I'm inclined it's to. Just to Just agree. I'm gonna, I'm gonna erase some of this bit right here. Chat says her publisher demands something new, something outside of her comfort zone. <laughs> well, I think maybe this was her this is her attempt to do it by having these kind of dreamlike elements. As opposed to it just being a straight up they're on, you know, it's a, it's Cape Cod and they have sads until they find <laughs> love. I prefer more flourish, says chat. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they're both good words. me making things too hard again. Yeah, let me make them holding a spyglass. This is a great idea. <laughs> I mean, it's a great challenge, yes. for sure. Yep. And also, it's a great challenge with being the keyword. Keeping up with the gender ambiguity theme, although certainly I don't, th I don't think that Shannon McGillis would aim to make them gender ambiguous. That's true. She is old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you know, we're taking some liberties on the cover. I think that maybe this is, uh, you know, the mom has has you know short hair that's kind of in a bob, and the dad's got that nice long hair. Long flowing tresses. Yes. And so, oh boy, can I remember anything about that era of dress? Probably not. Nice. So I'm not going to. <laughs> I was gonna put them in one of those those big dresses, but I think maybe maybe a like a cool cape, not a cape, um, coat, maybe one of them pirate coats. I think. That'll yeah, be cool. one of the long ones. Yeah, I'm sure there's a more official name for it, which I don't remember. It's, I don't know, waistcoat. I guess I don't know. Waistcoat sounds correct. I don't think pea coats were a thing. <laughs> Yeah, well, not in this context, anyway. So get some, get some of them breeches on. Then, you know, those buttons that you see everywhere. Ah, uh, yes, the boutons. The boutons. Le boutons. Le boutons. Okay. <laughs> that, that went into a very Stallone direction there for yes, a second. Yes, it did. Oh, oh, the cardboard sword is such a good touch. <laughs> so good. Yeah. So maybe the um. The reason why they're always apart and eventually, you know, either got divorced or estranged is that the the the, the dad parent is uh, a sailor and that's why that's why the kid likes to think that he's a pirate. 
Yeah. And maybe the mom is like a like a marine biologist or something. And so that's why she's got kind of this uh, navigator sort of thing going on. Is that things that, you know, the kid's like, you know, oh yeah, it's the pirate captain and, and you know, the first mate or their co-captains. And really, you know, they have to they have to take on these these imagined roles uh, now that they've been wished into this this you know piratey piratey realm. They gotta, they gotta do it with the imagination. Mm-hmm. As stumped as we were last week, I feel like we're kind of killing it this week. We are. <laughs> Yo, that's she just, looks great. That's that just, hairstyle. That's just the, you know, it's just the magic of Shannon cool. McGillis. Yeah. I'm also, you know, giving up on having very crisp lines, apparently, you know, it's just... <laughs> Just, no, it's not happening today. Those blinds are for for you. You can you can pull them off. I cannot. I just my style's always a mess. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, that's just a reminder to embrace your art style. Mm -hmm. There's no wrong way. Yep. Yeah. There's just you know the right way and the wrong way for you. Exactly. You know, my brain just said that one of the characters is named Molly. I like that. So I can't decide if that is if that is the child or the mother. You know what? Let's make it let's make this Molly. And this will be Grace as a reference to the pirate Grace O'Malley. I love it. Also, Molly's a good name for a child. Yes. Which I know all children grow up, but... Well, you know. Yeah. Let's, let's not, uh, you know, get into all that. Um, then I'm trying to think of other pirate names. There's Calico Jack. I can't do Ed. Ed's currently taken by the gay pirate show. I know there's Black Bart Bartholomew. I don't know. It's been a long time since I read a book on piracy, so I don't remember. Uh, I'm trying to remember Black Sails. Uh, I mean, we, can, we can certainly stick with, you know, something simple like Jack. Jack is a classically piratey name. Yes. Arms are just weird in general. Yeah, it's not our fault. I'm not. I'm just. I'm not gonna stress about it. Clearly, clearly, this this, you know, this different pirate captain Jack is not stressed out about it. All right, we're running on time, so I'm not going to color. Um, Grace or Jack, but I'll let you finish up Molly, who's, who, gosh, the cardboard sword got me. It really did. 
I mean, what do we think about incorporating this into the into the cover? We could do that. We could just like we could just you know wiggle some things around or put them on the pirate ship now. Save us some time. <laughs> just yeah, and then in the interest of, of time. Sure. And, I can do that. Me... Uh, also, other things. Also, other things. Also, it just looks. You know what? I kind of like what I we've like done them. so far. <laughs> Every once in a while, we feel like we got it. It's just you, not very often. <laughs> yeah. We have to bask in these times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So I gotta, I gotta erase some more of my, uh, my trivia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wrong liner? Okay, there we go. Wrong liner, drink! All right. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, this time it was just me um, erasing a different layer. I'm going to make this eraser much larger. Large and in charge. Large. I mean, it could just be called something really simple like the dream of the sea. <laughs> That's true. Uh, it could, yeah. Uh... You in my dreams. <laughs> I, that could also work. Right. Oh boy. Hey Roxanne, do you know how boats look? Mm. How do boats? Do you know how pirate boats look? Mm. <laughs> how many sailboats have you been on? <laughs> boats are hard. Yes. I'm, I'm really going to be leaning on our flag means death as my most recent reference point. <laughs> Still got to watch it, and I really want to. It, it is very good. I highly recommend it. So I'm just going to... And then also, I mean, you can also go into your brain banks of all the... Um, all the pirates movies, because I know you you love those. Lots of sales, folks. Yep. So I guess this would have to be a rope. Huh? Then maybe a, a, a railing? A railing? I'm gonna glance over at the Lego pirate ship I have nearby, <laughs> which has been pretty thoroughly thrashed by Krakens, and by Krakens I mean my cats. Catkins. Catkins, yes. But yeah, there's some there's a little bit of railing action going on. Not a whole lot. I'm gonna pretend that this is a sail. <laughs> you know what? I'm just I'm gonna just not gonna I'm not gonna bother with putting in a cannons. That's too much work. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done with Molly. I got a little uh, uh, hyper focus there. I can help with the boat. No, it's okay. You can, um, if you want to color the uh, the other characters, you can. That Molly's a dwarf. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's get, get some rope. So we have Molly and Grace and Jack. I might have been thinking Molly because it's it sounds like Grace O'Malley and sounds like the last name. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, honestly, you know, it could have been divinely inspired. Who's to say? I don't know any knots. So I'm not, I'm not gonna make it make it screen accurate not on here. It's just gonna be a mess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was a Boy Scout for all of two months. I was going to ask if you were a Boy Scout. Two months. Yep. Two, two. And then I got tired of being made fun of, so I was out. Ah. Out skis. 
That was very unnice of them. Mm-hmm. Boys will be boys. You know, jerks will be jerks. Let's go jerks with that. will be jerks. You know, some people can can have those interventions where they see the error of their jerk ways, but not everybody. Alternate title, The Ocean in Her Eyes. Okay, like Molly's eyes. It could be right? it could be Molly's eyes, and then it could also be uh, you know, something that Jack says to Grace at some point. I like that. I like that a lot. The ocean in her eyes. One of these days I'll learn how to do backgrounds. Nah, it's not today, though. Backgrounds is hard. I got things to do. Backgrounds don't have faces on them. Yeah. <laughs> That's my biggest problem with them. Backgrounds are things which I have not practiced for 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> That's really what it is. It's just have not bothered to practice. Was learning how to do faces and hands. And as you can see by this hand right here, I'm still nailing it. <laughs> <laughs> Can all land the hand. Oh, you know what? I look at people, I look at artists who are capable of doing like like mechs as, you know, and um, and cars and whatnot, and they can just do it just off the top of their head. And I'm like, how? Oh. It doesn't make any sense. I'm pretty sure how do they just know where the lines go? I'm pretty sure I brought this up last week. <laughs> yes. It's still applicable. It's still, I, you know, it still still bends bends my puny little organically organized mind. There are still really good artists out there. Nope, that would not be seen because that is pointed. some clouds back there. A few, a couple little seagulls. These are roughly supposed to be cumulus clouds for those of you who care about cloud formations. Hey, that's something I actually know. Cumulus clouds are a thing that exists. Yes. Good job, buddy. <laughs> cumulus clouds are real. <laughs> they sure are, unlike birds. Which birds is are a, not real. Which is a joke. Birds are definitely real. This is a joke. This just, is a joke, folks. This is just, I'm, I'm just clarifying. I'm a little sad that, yeah, you know, because we're kind of bowling through this... Is that the word we're looking for? I don't know. Um, we don't get to see the cool pirate boots, but, you know, everything else actually looks relatively yeah. good today. <laughs> Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with the uh, character design. <laughs> Some, you know, 
we were hitting the wall real hard last week. The 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 muses gave us a break. Just look at that super recharge. Yep. to add in somewhere the ocean in her eyes. I also need to erase their names, by names. By names, we'll miss you. Sorry, we're gonna forget who you are. They'll be written in the book somewhere. Somewhere, we don't... <laughs> Once we get the mind wipe, we won't remember anything. Bye. Nope. <laughs> there we go. What's pirate? What are pirates? What are pirates, anyway? Jack, put your up. Okay. I like don't want to cover up any of this background, which I actually like for once. It's I know. <laughs> There's just some some deep dark depravity happening here. Where can we cram a title? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on a separate layer so I can move it. I will certainly like go. No, nah, that does that's not gonna work out. <laughs> I'll change my mind again. Fancy font, it doesn't look that fancy. Uh, no, wrong size it's again. A, it's a, a quick fancy font. Yeah. Oh. We work in the world of the. Uh, Instant gratification. <laughs> yes. I'll just zoom in a whole lot. Are they a, are they a multiracial couple? <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> Shannon McGillis. <laughs> oh, we're more and more, more progressive than you think. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she says that he's just tanned from being on, uh, you know, at sea for so long, but this is not true. Yep. It's, uh. That's just, you know what? He's. As I have learned last week, skin type 3 or 4 or something. There is a scale which dermatologists use going from 1 to 5, I want to say. I had no idea that was a thing. I didn't either until last week. And See, folks? Always learning. Um, even librarians. Yes, even, even me. Wow, this looks even worse. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. No! Oh god! Oh god! What's happening? Oh no! Oh no! Okay, we're, we're back. Uh, I'm I'm having I'm having a time with these pens. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the Overlord's fault. They've given us these tools. Yep. Already, I already have to move it. <laughs> Okay, now I gotta zoom out. 
Okay, okay. Let's see if I can. Okay, maybe if I maybe if I shrink it. Uh, It's like a little bit on the hat, that'd be fine. Yeah. But their faces are too good. <laughs> Aw, thanks. Okay, let me scoot this down. I will also put this on yet another layer. Shannon. Gotta remember how ridiculous her name is. Yeah, with the freaking why. Hearts. Her name is ridiculous. Her. <laughs> her signature is ridiculous. Signature is ridiculous. Uh, so ridiculous it doesn't fit on here anymore. I'll move it up. Shannon McGillis, I'll fix the S. Nov, Nov. Shannon McGillis novel. There we go. Alright. I have so many layers, I don't know where any of them are anymore. I will merge that down. Boop. That's not- oh! Uh, uh, oh, I see, that moves them. Okay. Okay, okay. Can I- can I please just... Uh, go, with the, go with this one down here or something? I don't know. Please! Okay, let's, let's try this. I will do that and I'll move that. Nope, not like that. I'll move that one down. Okay, okay, okay. I think I figured out how the, how the layer works here a little bit. Let's just add in a little bit of painting for this nice sky. I said painting for this nice sky. <laughs> <laughs> it's still way too small. I'll turn the opacity down. Put a little bit of green to get that kind of green, greenish little bit of ocean in there. Color of the sea. Yep. We're just gonna uh, dump a bunch of brown hues yeah, brown. all over the place. We're gonna save ourselves a lot of time. Hues, hues, hues. Yep. We're just not gonna be remotely accurate anymore. Not that we were in the first place. Not that we need to, because it's all a dream. Which came true, but it means that it can be as inaccurate as we want it to be. It's fiction, everybody. It's fiction, Let's everybody. Just step out of our literal minds just, for once. Can we just, not just have fun? Just, just like that. That line over there was fictional for a little bit, but I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've lost the coloring layer again. I'll have to make another one. <laughs> don't know where it is anymore. Well, I'm just gonna make do. <laughs> it really isn't a good way for me to go through the different layers, which is unfortunate. Okay, and then let's just pick a whole A. We had an S, now let's have a whole different S. This is definitely noises that they. Why am I doing this? There's music this in the background. This is the coloring song. This is the coloring song. This is me forgetting that we have music in the background. <laughs> you know, this is a little corny, but real cute, and it's gonna make, you know, an an okay movie. But eventually, a really good miniseries. That, yeah. I agree with that. And, folks, a great beach read. A, and it's a time to hit the a beaches. Fantastic beach read. You know, it's really quick. It's such mm -hmm. an easy read. Read it twice. It's Yeah, it's super, it's really wholesome. It's super fun. You know, it's got a little bit of a, it's got a, like, it's got the adventure, it's got the romance. It's got, it's you got know, pirates. it's got pirates, it's got magical realism effects, mm -hmm. and inaccurate piracy in a fantasy realm where nobody really truly oh, gets hurt. 100%. It's a real great, and I'm sure that, you know, there's going to be some really, really um, amazing fan fiction of this. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Which Nothing is safe. No, I mean, in this case, I, I would accept it because I mean, I unintentionally drew very attractive characters. <laughs> <laughs> it's what Shannon McGillis would. It's wanted. what she would have wanted. <laughs> we at least did right by her. Yes, we did. Respect. Yes, we did. We, you know what? She is a font of inspiration for us. The ocean in her eyes. Get it. You know, add it to your beach read list. Mm -hmm. uh, sign up for summer reading. Make sure you read this. It counts if you read it more than once. Nobody cares. Just make it's sure fine. you write it down. <laughs> Friends, I think... Wow, there are so many layers that I don't even know where the Shannon McGillis layer is anymore, <laughs> so I'm not going to bother showing her <laughs> <laughs> you all remember she's not as pretty as our book. No, no, she she is not. Not 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 as you know, fantastic as this book mm -hmm. cover which we have slapped together. No. <sighs> all right, Paul. I believe that uh, you it's are, good to be back on top. It's good. It's you know what? It's good. I don't think you're lukewarm anymore. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, I. I hope you had a good time. I think we did. Mm-hmm. For uh, sure. For, 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 sh for schnurk. Schnurk. Sure, sure. Um, this has been... So, the artist, please, we will actually be back this time next Monday. One whole week. One whole week. One entire one. So, be sure to come back and, um... Support your local library. Do it, folks. 